Joining me live in studio this morning is Ottawa's own Ian Warner. Ian is going to be playing a show with uh, Josh Ferris, also with a band called Breaking Minds, and New World Sun, just a couple hours from Ottawa this weekend, just north of Gatineau in Manawaki, Quebec. It's this Friday night, 7 o'clock. You can actually get tickets here in Ottawa at Salem Storehouse. They're 20 bucks in advance. Thanks so much for coming into the studio this morning. Well, thanks for having me. Appreciate your time. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, Ian. You're an Ottawa artist, but are you originally from Ottawa? Uh, yeah, I actually grew up in Ottawa here. Um, yeah, my, born and raised here, born in, uh, in a Christian family. And, uh, you know, I played in various bands before. I also played in the band called Seven Factor a long time ago. But uh, We have some mutual friends from Seven Factor. Yeah, yeah. So good times there. And uh, then I went away to school, uh, Heritage Bible College, for uh, music and recording arts there. So Now, at what point did you know that you wanted to step out on your own and make a solo CD? Uh, that was a big process. Uh, you know, God refined, was chipping away at my, you know, my soul and my pride, and uh, he just refined me through that whole process of working on this album, and uh, I guess he, he prepared me to go out on my own, because I was always, in Seven Factor, I was kind of the background guy, so, um, and uh, he just gave me the courage to, to jump out in faith kind of thing, so, yeah. Talk about the songwriting process. Do you tend to write by yourself? Do you write with other people? Uh, it varies. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a quick and easy process. You know, um, for this album, I've written with uh, my lead guitarist Rod Santini, who's here with me. And sometimes we just get together, and you know, we have a riff. He figures out a riff, and then I have a tune on my head, and it it gels so well. But sometimes it's a more lengthy process. You know, like it could take a week or two. It all depends on the type of song and the theme that goes along with it. So. How about the lyrics? What sorts of things inspire you? Do you come home from church and have a particular uh, like a sermon on your mind or something? Yeah, actually a lot of times uh, I've, I've been going to the Met for the past 10 years and, uh, you know, the pastor there, Rick Reed, he, he would inspire me with his messages and I'd be taking notes, you know, on the, on the sheets there for song ideas or, you know, just something that has gone on in my life or, you know, how I've been impacted by someone else's life, so... Yeah. And you chose to work with award-winning producer Andrew Horrocks, which I think was a really smart move. He's yeah. fantastic at what he does. Yeah, he He's truly is. He's worked with a number of other local artists and, of course, all across Canada. Scott Twinage works with him and so on. Tell us what that experience was like for those who've never made a CD. Take us inside the studio. Oh, it was incredible. It's kind of cool we have a background story there because he was my teacher in school. Okay. So we were always good friends and, you know, I, I just wasn't sure if I was ready to record with him yet because, you know, I had been doing recording myself and I tried to do it on my own, but I realized I didn't have enough time working full time and whatnot. And just working with him, he, he brought out the best of me, you know. Um, you know, the pre-production stage was just so amazing because, you know, we figured out all the songs and what chords would work right with the right songs. And even the keys for the, the voice, my voice and whatnot, just to give me that sweet spot when I'm singing. So, like... It was an incredible experience, and I can't wait to do it again with him. Yeah. I hear a lot of people say just that process of making a CD and yep. working with somebody like Andy, you just learn so, so much. It even helps you be a better songwriter Absolutely. working with him. So. Do you have any plans? I don't want to put you on the spot, mm -hmm. but are you working on another record? Are you thinking along those lines? Um, we are always writing. Like, we're writing for the next record right now, but, uh, you know, we want to tour this record first before we... Take it. So it'll probably be probably a year and a half before another one, I would think. So. Well, you're going to do a live song for us. You have two members from your band. Oh. I mean, you guys are going to do uh, an acoustic raw version of the title track, right? To your yeah. Record? Yeah. Hope for today. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and fire away with it. All right. Thanks a lot.
Coast to Coast, it's called Far From Beautiful on CHRI. 